reporter Dia Wall spoke with anxious retirees. Dia. Yeah, Mike and Rian, and countless retirees in the Metro have spent their careers coming through unions like this one. For those who are part of the Central States Pension Fund, they're anxiously awaiting this announcement. And these guys tell me it's about a whole lot more than just money. Their lives are tied to this decision. So I thought it was ironic. When he hit five years, Tom Schwarzenberger got a gold watch and pen from UPS. And I got these and I thought, gosh, you know, I really got it whipped, you know. This is, this is safety. Now I'm a direct opposite. I, I won't have any safety anymore. After 25 years in a central state's pension fund, yeah. he's one of the 400,000 retirees waiting to find out from the U.S. Department of Treasury if his benefits will be cut. Everybody's waiting and kind of on the edge. Dave Scheich heads up the Missouri-Kansas City Committee to protect pensions. He put in 32 years with Roadway Express. Now, he's fighting for himself and the other Teamsters anticipating the announcement. People just worry. They kind of want to know what the future is going to hold for. The fund is paying out $3 for every one it's taking in. So they want to cut retiree benefits up to 60%. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver is asking the Department of Justice to investigate, quote, to determine if there was any mismanagement of funds that led to today's insolvency. We've already had a suicide. We've already had several heart attacks. And quite honestly, we're scared to death. To secure their future, they're working after retirement while warning others before they get there. Especially to our young people. Save back your money now. Take 10 to 15 percent. Save it back. You've got to because there's no guarantees right now. A decision, the deadline, will be on Saturday, so we should hear sometime before then. Four other funds have applied for the same type of rescue plan since then. Now, if this current plan for the central states is approved, the Committee to Protect Pensions tells me lawsuits will be filed because they don't think it's constitutional. But no matter what, if it is approved, it'll be the first time this has ever happened. Live in Kansas City, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Dia,